I definitely. Oh, this is before the original debate. Yeah, that was on um, that was on June tenth. Well, let's play with the idea first before, like, so we don't get bogged down in it. But okay. um, and Lisa Marie saying that he walked it back today a little bit. Ah, he walked it back. Okay. Well, <clears throat> this is where I think he he kind of he made a, a miscalculation in the first one is that what I think he should do is he should take a different strategy rather than dropping out. If that's the idea or if that's even being, being played with. And the idea is basically fight fire with fire, do exactly what they do. And that's, uh, and what I mean is the Democrats and Kamala is I wouldn't, all of their questions when it comes to these moderators are obviously biased, right? So fuck them. Fuck the questions. Let them ask their question and then deflect. And then pivot, pivot, pivot. everything back to their shitty pre- presidency. That's all Trump has to do. And here's idea. the funny thing is that he could deflect all he wants because the Democrats, I think, are... Too stupid, and I'm talking about just the regular, you know, average people Mm -hmm. are too stupid to realize he's even deflecting. You know what I mean? So it's like, and even if he does, they're not going to get, their minds aren't going to get changed anyway. Right. You get what I mean? So their questions are shit like, Trump, uh, Mm -hmm. what you said about the people in Charlottesville are... Fuck that question. Why even defend yourself? Kamala, how do you feel about the... The things that he said about the people in Charlottesville. Like, right. Bro, what are we talking about? <laughs> here's, here's one, right? Trump, uh, you, you um, negotiate with terrorists. I would go, Kamala and Biden are literally go- negotiating with Hamas right now. It's what presidents do. So unless you're going to get on her about that, and I'd, li- I'd love to hear her answer, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> And let you me can't go into say that on the main stage. <laughs> right. And let me go into why it's kind of their fault too. Right. Of why this happened. No, that's a good listen. You that's get what good, I'm saying? That's a good strategy. Deflect. Defle- and, fuck them. And, and put it back on their shitty shit. Exactly. Trump gets on the defensive too much, and I think it's because he's so used to being on the defensive, is that mm-hmm. that he thinks like he has to. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, how many times have we heard you and how many times has the world Heard you answer for Charlottesville, and there's very fine people on both sides. It's debunked. Fucking let it go. Deflect, move on to the next thing. Fuck the moderators. So that's how he needs to play it, I think. Yeah. Fuck him. Just make it the Trump show. He's, he's perfectly capable of doing that. That's a good idea. Turn it into a goddamn circus, because that's where Trump works the best, is the, the ringleader of a circus. Mm-hmm. And he looks the best. He did that with the Republican, uh, uh, the original debate. He turned that shit into a clown show. And then he exposed all the dirty politics at the, the same time. The rhinos. Yeah. He didn't do that enough. I think he was too reserved. Um, you know what it and- was? He, I, it was the kid gloves. He, he put kid gloves on her because she's a woman and she's black. And he's looking at it from the eyes of a Democrat. He's got to cut that shit out. Cut the malarkey. Oh. Go after her for her policy and her shit record. That's all you have to do, bro. We don't care what she looks like. We care about our country and we want that shit fixed. And really, all he has to do, if she brings up him being racist at all, explain the fucking thousands of black men that you locked up and hundreds of them that you didn't have the, you know, the, the evidence to even do it. Yeah, for marijuana, explain that. Which, you, which you said that you, I'm sure you were smoking with Montel Williams after he was done tapping that ass. Right. You what get are what you I'm, talking about? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like... Def, def, not even deflect in that sense. Mm. Put it on her. Pivot. Yep. And he's he's too busy in defending himself, and I think he needs to get out of that. On the if if they do have another debate, and I guess we have to say if because I both sides I don't know now. <laughs> no, Kamala says she do another one. Yeah. Yeah, she said that right away. Which but was... here's the thing: she didn't look good in that debate either. That's the funny thing is that. Republicans even fall into this. Just because Trump didn't look great, that means Kamala by proxy looks great. No, and no, it's no. like, no, they, they both kind of but here's why, shit the bed. Here's why people feel like that. Because we were, I think even people on Kamala's side were expecting Trump to come out there and knock it out of the park. And he didn't. And, it, and, and yes, by proxy, it did look her, it made her look a little bit more competent. We weren't expecting, this is the same lady who repeats the same shit all the time. I was waiting for that burden line to come out and it did it. 
So, you know, it, she <laughs> definitely prepared. There were answers that we know that she knows the answers, obviously. You know what? You're right. I'm just saying it because you know? I know that what she was saying was 90% lies. So, and we'll get into that in Kamala Land. Right. Um, open up that, that bag of worms. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I, think, I think Trump should definitely, definitely stand his ground um, and, and take that strategy that, that I was saying. Mm-hmm. Deflect and pivot. Pol- politic do. this bitch. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> That's what he needs to do. Yeah. Because, we, again, we've already heard it. We've heard it all. We were even watching the debate, and we're like, you're asking this again, again. Charlottesville? What's that fi- eight years of this eight shit. Year, eight years ago at this point. <sighs> Jesus. Let it go. They can't. That's all they got to hold on to, man. In 50 years, Charlottesville will be the new Tulsa. Facts. They'll blow that up to, oh, there was airplanes in the sky dropping uh, <laughs> napalm. <laughs> there were napalming Negroes. <laughs> napalming it was, Negroes. It was horrible. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It'll be called the Charlottesville Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking enough. <sighs> enough. Um, but yeah, you're right. I I definitely uh think that him not doing the debates would be a mistake. Yeah, because it would just make it would it would make him look like he's running. You know, like at the end of the day, I think even if he feels like the debate would be a waste of time, he should show up, you know, because just by showing up, you'll you'll show just how incompetent she is. He has to make her he has to make her squirm and get nervous. And he didn't do that enough. He didn't do that enough. And he's he's a he's a fucking master at doing that. I don't know why he but you're right. I think there was a level of him worrying about the. Donald Trump bullying a black woman on stage fucking headlines. And it's Facts. like, bro, so let it go. Let that, yeah, you got to let that let shit go. Let it all bro. go. Mm-hmm. People, I think, I think a lot of people are, are, are done with that. At least in this right. election. I don't think they're letting go racism. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they're, not, they're seeing through the whole racial thing because of Kamala's past and her, the evidence on her yeah. and her track record. Yeah. And a lot of people have seen through the bias in that last debate like people's all oh, the, the narrative yes. was 3v1 because yeah. it was so not plies plies thought kamala wiped the floor <sighs> of course he did bro of course <laughs> he did dummy we gotta we gotta roast plies bro, before the end of this election we have to maybe not we tonight gotta, but we should wait till we should wait till trump wins wait till trump wins and then we roast plies. nah we have to we have to do it just in the spirit of the election just in the spirit. And we flaw the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they put the ghetto twang on so it. So we got to go. We got to go after flies. All right. All right.